Howdy folks, this is Dave Alstad here bringing you another YouTube video pedal steel guitar lesson. Today's lesson comes at the request from a friend who wanted to learn that solo that you just heard or the intro that you just heard to the fantastic Gene Watson song titled I'll Run Right Back to You. Uh, Lloyd Green played the steel on this and uh, he said that this, is, that this session was the first time that the name Gene Watson showed up in his studio logbook that he's kept. Uh, since way back since he started recording many many years ago. So this is um, most likely the very first song that um, um, Lloyd Green ever played on a Gene Watson record. Pretty cool song. It's got a great groove and Gene Watson as always just sings fantastically. So check out the whole song. Today we're only going to learn the intro to the song. I also want to mention that when you listen to this song on YouTube if you're trying to play along with it, um, the pitch of the song on YouTube is a little bit sharp, and I've lowered it just a little bit for this uh, lesson. And I also made a backup track that will be in pitch, too, that you can play along with. Uh, that'll be at the end of the video, so you can practice along with the backup track and try to get the intro yourself. Um, but if you're trying to play along with the, the one on YouTube, the Gene Watson version, and if you're, if you're tuned to a regular standard 440 pitch for your ease, on the steel guitar, then you're going to probably sound a little bit sour uh, with it because it'll be just slightly flat compared to the recording. All right. So uh, having said that, I'm going to try my hand at uh, playing this one. I'm going to give this a shot here on video and see if I can play it for you with my backup track. And, um, and let's see if uh, I can do it without screwing it up too badly. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Um, sounded pretty close. So let's learn this thing, shall we? Uh, we're going to start, this is in the key of A, and we're going to start on the 5 chord, which is an E. And that means we're going to be down here on the 7th fret with the pedals down position. I'm going to have my A pedal up to start with. And this first part is on, the, on strings 6, 5, and 4 in that order. B pedal down. 6. When you go to 5, you're going to... Uh, be the A pedal is going to be up, but then you're going to mash down on it, and then string four. So those three notes are, but oh no, that's not good enough. Lloyd wanted to double those notes up, so that's what we have to do. Play each note twice, just like that. From there, we're going to go three frets up. And you're going to be just on the A pedal, and this is where you get that bluesy tone when you go from your pedals down position. And if you go three frets up and just be on strings four and five with only the A pedal, you get that that flatted seventh tone in there along with the fifth tone of this of the chord, and it gives you that bluesy tone. So we're going to go right from this opening lick to that note. Whoops. And I'm rocking just into the A as soon as I get there. It's kind of quick. You have to get that all together. And then you come off of the A and back into it. So it's like... And that's the first part of this song. Let's try it with the back track here. this down for you. We're going to go at 70%. If, uh, if that's a little bit too fast for you, um, if 100% is a little bit too fast at this time, uh, I'll, I'll do it a couple times here at 70% so you can play along. I 
it's a little bit harder to play slow than it is fast uh, or than it is up to speed because you kind of lose that bouncy feeling. So let's try it up to speed one more time. Okay, the next part of the song, the next part of the intro, um, we're going to play just string five and we're going to be on the A pedal and then come off. So we go from just like that, just be on the A pedal on string five and come off. It's a single note. Hit that note again. And then you're going to go into the fourth string. And on this one, you have to go over to the C pedal, so B and C together. Uh, you don't really need the C too, or the B pedal too much. It's really the C we're going for. And that's where he bends this note to get the... Uh... So that's what we're going for. And you got to be over on the C quickly, and I like to get back to the A for the next notes because um, I'm, need go I'm going to need to be on the A to get those last two notes. Um, so you got to get back over to the A pedal very quickly. Okay, so once again, we're on string five, release the A pedal, and then play that note again, and then string four, hammer into the C, and then string three. And then strings three and four together, hammering into the, the pedals uh, both times you do it. <clears throat> okay, then the next part, let's just put that together. Um, I'll start it off at 70% and we'll play the whole thing up to that point. speed. Okay, the last part is uh, pretty simple. We go from those last two notes and just play strings four and five and uh, go in, hammer into the A pedal again. And then there's a couple different ways you can play this la the last few notes. Um, I'm going to show you probably the easiest way, uh, which is to just stay all on the 12th fret. So there's where we just left off. Come out of that note again, uh, come out of the A pedal and play and those are strings four and five, by the way. And now play strings five and six together with the pedals down for your last note. So it should sound like this. Whoops, sorry. I think that's the phrasing. Okay, the way I actually prefer to play it, I like the sound, me personally, I like the sound of strings uh, four and five together better than the sound of strings five and six. Um, because it's, the five and six have a little bit of a more mellow tone, and I think, it, I think the continuity of the sound of the notes is better if you can stay on strings four and five. And I'm only talking about the last note, that's it. So I can get those same notes here on 10, by lowering, by coming off of the A pedal and lowering my my knee lever that lowers the E's. I could even slide if I don't want to pick it again, since I'm staying on the same strings. My ear just likes to hear that continuity of those, uh, the tone of the notes staying the same, even though, even though they're the same notes. To me, on four and five, it, to my ear, it's a little more pleasing. <clears throat> Let's play the whole thing. Um, I'm going to do the whole thing slowly, and then I'm going to do the whole thing 
all up to speed and that'll wrap this one up. speed here and we'll try it again. Okay, so that's the whole intro. Um, enjoy it. Have a fun time with it. It sounds great. Uh, maybe there's something that you picked up in there. That you didn't know before. Maybe it's just a matter of stringing it all together. Um, maybe it's super easy and you didn't learn anything. Well, I hope that you learned something anyway. Um, I'm going to put um, my backup track a few times. I'll repeat it here a few times at the end of this video and uh, you can just play along with it uh, to give you some practice. I'm going to play it at 100% speed though. If you want to, you can slow YouTube down and you can put it at 75% or 50%. So if you want to slow it down so you can play with it slower, you can do that on your own settings in YouTube um, to do that. Uh, and it won't change the pitch either, so that's good. Um, I love doing these videos. If there's something that you want to know, then if there's something you want to learn, if I can learn it and help you out with it, I'd like to do so. So let me know. Write it in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you've stayed with this video so far, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the closer I get to be able to do a few more cool things on YouTube, like YouTube live videos and things like that, and maybe be able to give some instruction one-on-one -on -one even uh, in the future or um, help people out in different ways. So that's my goal, but I got to get to a thousand subscribers, I think, to do, be able to do some of the cool things. So please subscribe to my channel. Um, also, um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button once, and if you don't like the video, then hit the thumbs down button twice, and um, we'll, until next time, we'll see you later. Keep picking.